What's up YouTube, Mega Man Wins here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about 10 tips and tricks that you can use on the map of Plaza, guys. So if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as turn post notification bells on. That way you can be informed when I do upload more Critical Ops content, guys. But without further ado, let's hop right into the video, guys. So for tip number one, we're gonna be talking about hopping onto the vehicle on the CT spawn point. It's very easy to do and it has its advantages as well as disadvantages, but I'm gonna tell you guys why you should jump on here. So it's very easy to do. All you gotta do is run and then jump. And if you're having trouble, run, jump, and then crouch. But what you can do when you're on the car is you can check for A side obviously and check steps as well as mid and you can check B long as well as house. So if the T-sided players are in fact, you know, taking over the B-side, you can, you know, see that occurring and you could either, you know, combat it or inform your team and y'all can make a strat in order to flank them or something. So for the next tip is for CT-sided players who want to rush the A-long area and play very aggressively, what you can do is you can wall bang through this, you know, projectile right there. So if they are pushing that, you know, A-long area, you can just rush, hide behind here and then, you know, wall bang it when you do, you know, hear those players pushing. But, you know, be aware that, you know, it's very hard to take cover because there's nowhere to take cover. So if you are getting pushed by a full team, it's going to be very hard to, you know, in fact, combat that. But if it's just like one or two players, you can, you know, wall bang that, you know, and kill those players, guys. So for tip number three, it's also for CT sided players. What you can do is actually chill on the A side and what you can do is actually see mid steps all the way through, you know, the cracks right there. It's very hard to do, but you can in fact see activity going on. So if you are capping in this very position, you can see players that are trying to push house. If you're a CT sided player and you're trying to watch the bomb sites and you're trying to push house, you can easily just rotate, you know, and, you know, take care of players who are on the house or the belong area guys. So another tip is for CT sided players as well. It's the best way to hold belong. You know, you can also wall bang this just on, just like on the A long area, you can wall bang that. So you can easily go belong and hide behind this projectile. And what you do is as well as, you know, hide behind you, you just smoke off belong in case it's a five player push, smoke off belong and just hide here. It's very OP because players will actually, you know, walk straight past you and they'll plant the bomb guys. So what will happen sometimes is actually players will actually plant the bomb and you could actually, you know, get it, kill the player who planted and then kill the players who are housed and just defuse the bomb. They don't expect you to be there most of the time. So for tip number five, it's for CT sided players who want to rush B long and then go house guys. So what you do is, you know, spawn for the game, rush B long, check that and then go house. And what this is going to do is help you out to get easy kills for players pushing through those mid stairs. And for the players who are pushing through B long, who think it's clear, they're what they're going to do is push B long as well as try to go house. And what you can do is kill the players that are going through the mid steps. But you will also get free kills from the players who are trying to push house via B long because they will not pre aim this most likely. And you can get a free kill off of those players, guys. For tip number six, though, you can actually wall bang these signs. They're all over the map. One right here. There's also one next to the A long area what you can do is actually you just hold this very specific position and you know and wall bang that for players that are trying to push in any you know fashion in which you can actually use that to your advantage so when t sider players are pushing pushing through those mid steps as a ct sider player what you can do is, you know sound and wait for that to occur and whenever the right moment comes just get out your gun and, you know hold that very same position and just pre-fire that because it will in fact wall bang all the way towards you know those mid steps guys so like I was saying, there's also another sign next to the A long area. There's a sign that has a woman on it and you can actually in fact wall bang that as well. So use that to your advantage, you know, as well as your headphones, you know, to kill players very unexpectedly from those positions, guys. So for tip number seven, we're gonna be talking about CT players who wanna hold the A side solo. If you don't know, you can actually just go in the corner and you're not visible to players that are pushing from either position. Um, you know left or right so what you can do is stay here and wait for the bomb to be planted and they will not if they didn't check it yet what you can do is just pop out and kill the players who are you know on the bomb site guys so it's very unexpected so next tip is for the t side of players if you're gonna push house or be long just smoke that off right there with your team that way you can just push that be long area and get a flash grenade out and you know flash them exactly as i did there so and as you can see the flash will just pop right there and you can kill the players that are holding that be long area and then you know just take over and do your strat from that point next tip we're talking about tip number nine for t side of players who want to you know push that b 
sight, but they can't because players are always in that head glitch. What you do is get your nade, and as you can see, kaboom, um, just throw your nade from the stairs, and you can do some serious damage to any player that's in that head glitch, as well as, you know, use your teammate. Y'all can both throw a frag there, and y'all can definitely, you know, kill that player that's in that head glitch position, guys. So, for the last tip is tip number 10, t side of players who want to rush the a side. So, I, I do highly suggest you do smoke that off. That way you can't be pushed from A long. But what you want to do is get a flashbang out and hold that very position. You know, flash it out, flashbang, wait for it to pop. And what you can do now is just push through this area. You can easily, you know, blind everybody that's in this whole area because that flash landed in a very perfect spot. You can blind the players behind the sign. You could also blind the players on the left that usually hold the left position, guys. So I do really hope you guys did enjoy this video for 10 tips and tricks on the map of Plaza, guys. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel, guys. I do appreciate it a lot for every new viewer and old viewers. So also join my Discord server, guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching my channel, guys. I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one.